Hey guys, right, this time it's the Phantom Spirit 120SE versus the all-in-one liquid cooler from Inland. Which one will win? Okay then, so which one is the clear winner? Now yes, the Inwin liquid cooler did win, but that was expected. This video is all about to see if an air cooler can actually keep up with an AIO. And even though on Cinebench that that did hit 86 Celsius, which did go red and it was near the thermal limit for the 1500X, it does not matter, it's still held its own this thing still held its own even at 1.3 volts and this is a 12 core 24 thread monster of a cpu and at that kind of voltage it's ridiculous you should never run your cpus at that kind of voltage especially amd where you've got pbo for an instance now yes the Phantom Spirit aesthetically isn't the nicest. Of course, the Inwin AIO has got RGB just everywhere. And of course, I love RGB. That is just my thing. I've got a passion for it, and that is it. Now, what I will say is I am truly astonished by the performance of when it comes to the bang for your buck. Because Thermal right at the moment is beating every single brand when it comes to bang for your buck they have the best value out of every brand you saw what the fan uh, peelers assassin did when it came to the dark rock pro uh, pro 4 now yes it didn't beat it by a lot but it still beat it and it still performed better now this isn't built as bit as good as the peelers assassin because the peelers assassin is their primary popular cpu cooler now yes this one does have a lot of heat pipes it does have very good features but the peel assassin has better fans as well as it does have a black ceramic coating on well you can get that on the black one you can get the rgb version of course you can get loads of different variations of their products especially the phantom spirit you can get that with an rgb variation now i have has asked Thermorite for the RGB version because I want to do a comparison between both of them. Now they're essentially the same cooler but they got different fans. And remember, when it comes to air coolers or AIOs, if you put better fans on them, they will perform better. It will push the air a lot easier. Speaking of fans, the Inwin AIO, the fans are awfully loud. 
they, they're just stupidly loud, which a lot of AIOs from Thermalright, I've had problems with that as well when it comes to the noise. But of course, Thermalright isn't known for their quietness. They aren't known for being silent. They're known for the best performance for the best value. Now, the Inwin AIO, overall, yes, it did beat it, but it does not matter. The Phantom Spirit still kept up, even though it is literally almost half the price when it comes to value. And what I will say is the Phantom Spirit is definitely a good choice for anyone. You want a budget a, a CPU cooler? Don't look at any other brands, I'm sorry, but this is cheaper than not to a Redux, and the Redux are the lower tier CPU coolers. And this is a lot better when it comes to performance and value. Also, what I will say for these two, when it comes to socket support, both of them fantastic. Exactly like Noctua, they support each current socket with their products, which is good for longevity when it comes to, especially when it comes to CPU coolers or AIOs. Now, yes, with an AIO, you do have a problem when it comes to the basically the pump die-in. Now, I haven't experienced that yet, as, a, as a, a lot of AIOs at the moment are die-in, but so yeah, I haven't experienced any AIOs die-in yet for me. But what I will say is, look guys, I need you guys to comment down below. There is 528 of you. Was it 538? I don't know. But there's over 500 people that subscribe to the channel. I need your input. I need you guys to tell me what content you want. Because there's so much ideas. Which comes to my next point. The case that's behind me. Now that is the In Inwin Air Force Justice 1 PC case. Now yes, it's fully modular. You build it yourself. I haven't done an overall unboxing and assembly. Because honestly... It took me hours to put that together correctly through the manual. Now, what I've got ideas for that is modding. It's got perfect canvas for that. But we will talk about that in the case review. Let's continue. Overall, in-win, smashed it. But when it comes to price, thermal rights the better option. So, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like. And as always, I hope you guys have a fantastic day. This is Richard for Welsh Tech. Goodbye.